to the grandstand, Maria Sharapova, Emily Lawah, and Sharapova serving at 30, and now 40 love, but down love two to start this match. Sharapova, the 16-year-old. Making her debut at the U.S. Open and playing in only her fourth Grand Slam event, but she's only 16. Tell me a little bit about Sharapova's game, Tracy, and what makes her have the potential to be a special player. Wow, does she have weapons? She already has a big serve. It's only going to get bigger. Her ground strokes technically are just so sound. She hits with such terrific power, pre precision. Her intensity is incredible. So she holds there, but still down a break against Emily Loire. We'll be keeping you updated on that match. And the women's second, Pova and Emily Loire and Deshera Pova really struggling there in the far court. 15 all, but she serves at 1 5. I don't know how this has happened so far. Just never would have expected this. Sharapova won her first round against Virginia Ruano Pasqual, one and one, just total domination. Two play a little bit similar, Ruano Pasqual and Loire. Very crafty players, add some spin to the ball. Difference, Loire is left handed. 30 15. Loire has never made it past the second round here at the Open. She's gotten to the second round the last two years, the 24-year-old. You'll notice for players that haven't watched Maria Sharapova play, she takes a lot of time in, in between points, almost the full allotted 20 seconds. Goes back to that backstop an awful lot. And this has become a ritual. We've seen that so much at the U.S. Open. This year, a lot of everybody's got their little quirks. Little superstitions. What do we see the other day? Some jumping back and forth over the line. Bartoli. In and out. Before she served, she would jump inside the court, outside the court. <laughs> Sharapova able to hold her serve, but she still got it. So let's go over to the grandstand and pick up uh, Sharapova and Loire. And Emily Loire is serving for the first set, but down love 30. Sharapova in the near court, Emily Loire in the far court. Oh. Sharapova looks like she's calmed down a little bit. Now, the wall you see trying to mix it up, throw in some slices, mix up the pace. Sharapova moved in quickly, nice, calmly made a winner. And triple break point. Might have taken her a bit of time to get used to that lefty. Well, that's a good look at the movement. Wonderful quickness from Sharapova, and she's trying to get herself pumped up. Well, you'll see that after every point. 3-5 in the first set, and a programming note, the PGA makes its way to Boston for the Deutsche Bank Championship. It all starts tomorrow at 5 Eastern, 2 Pacific on USA. The PGA's brightest stars, including Tiger Woods, will be there looking to win the, the first ever Deutsche Bank Championship starting tomorrow at 5 Eastern, 2 Pacific, only on USA. See, that backhand right there is kind of a guided backhand, kind of leaning off that back foot. That's not normally what you see from Maria. She's driving the ball with everything she's got. Very slight frame. She's going to get stronger. Maria does a, a lot of yoga, a lot of stretching. Love 15. Mm -hmm. 
as a clean winner. Love 30. Sharapova, though, unlike a lot of the younger players, doesn't seem to really get down on herself too much. Is that accurate or no? She stays pretty positive. I mean, she is just an, the most intense young player that I've seen come up since Monica Sellis, and I think she's more intense than Monica. Just every single point, pumping herself up. Didn't move her feet really on that last one, Bill, and a lot of times your feet get a little heavy when the nerves set in. And three set points. A lot of expectations, so much talk about Maria. Maybe she's feeling that a bit now. So 6-3, Sharapova goes down in the first set to Emily Lawan. When we come back, we'll meet Sharapova. Well, Maria Sharapova looking over a few notes as she waits on the change. And trying to figure out what went wrong in that first set. The Russians are truly coming in women's tennis, filling the draw with a medley of talented players. They total 13 this year, including the prodigy there truly on the rise. She's six feet tall, 16-year-old Maria Sharapova, who recently spoke with Tracy and is the subject of tonight's Expedia.com player profile. What do you want to buy big time? Do you treat yourself to anything special after one moment? I did get uh, three pairs of shoes, actually. You got three pairs of shoes? <laughs> three pairs of shoes. That's not spoiling yourself. You need ten pairs of I shoes. I know. I wanted the colored mm -hmm. Louis Vuitton purse. Oh, that's cute. Which but, big But little? now everybody jumped on the truck, and now everybody has it. So I don't want to jump off. <laughs> so I'm, I'm sort of thinking of what thinking I want. Which, oh, you want a what? purse? I want a purse, yeah. I like the mm -hmm. long Red handles, handle. yes. And... Dude, is it too dark? No, yeah. I like it. Yeah. Of course, the question has to come up. I mean, I think it's a compliment, but everybody tries to compare you to, to Kornikova. <laughs> um, no, I always try to be myself. I, I mean, I respect everyone on the tour, including Kornikova. And, but, you know, when I go on the court, I just want to be myself all the time. I don't think about who I want to be or who I'm compared to. You know, I know who I am, and that's who I am. Not everybody on the tour is compared to, to Kornikova. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I'll tell you they're not. OK. <laughs> Thanks. Let's go, Maria. Let's go. I want to see a nice, hard drive, huh? Let's go, Maria. <laughs> Then you started with Robert, Robert Landstorp. Yes. So tell me, how old were you and how'd that come about? Oh, with Robert, I started when I was about 10, 11, okay. 11 probably. And your dad had heard of him or you yes, had heard of him? Yes, my dad had read about him. She walks in the court and she, I go, who are you? And she goes, uh, I'm Maria. And I go, like Maria, Maria who? That's a real freak. I'm like, <laughs> dad, where did you take me? <laughs> and he goes, Maria Sharapova. I said, okay, great, go over there. And, hit some balls, that was my routine, you know, usually that's sort of the case, you know, and so she went to the service line, and I go, what the hell are you doing at the service line? He just looks, stares at me like, what are you doing there? What the heck are you, <laughs> are you doing? doing there? Yeah, my kids don't warm up at the service line, so just get to the baseline. I need like a strong personality around me, you know, to, to make me a better player. Right. I can't have a nice guy around right. me. She is so disciplined, in her way, she's so organized. And at 16, this girl knows what she wants. And nobody can change her mind. What's your ultimate goal? Number oh, one. be number one number in the world. One. Yes, yeah. definitely. I'm up against the whole world here. I'm a tennis player. This is this is an individual sport. I don't feel pressure. I actually feel a lot of confidence, you know, right. that I can actually do it. What are your expectations at the Open? Just play my game, you know, and just fight like I did at Wimbledon and show everyone that you're meant to be there. Just basically enjoy myself. First US Open as a professional. A oh, remarkable amount of poise for Sharapova. I, you know, for a 16-year-old especially. I'm 16, I was still trying to find my locker. <laughs> so she's got a lot going on and a tremendous game to back it up. And I know it was fun for you to see Robert Lansdorf 
your coach. Meanwhile, uh, Sharapova is basically trying to stay loose because there's an injury timeout on the grandstand. Emily Lois is being treated. So on this warm evening, Sharapova just uh, practicing some serves. So while she uh, warms up and we await Emily Lois' return, let's uh, go down to the studio and join Michael Barkan. Michael. All right, Bill, thank you very much. We uh, kind of just continued nonstop from the day session here into the evening session. Meanwhile, play is underway once again on the grandstand. Sharapova serving. Emily Lois is back after the injury timeout. Sharapova serving at 30 love. Her first service game of the second set after Lois held to start the set. Lois left thigh taped. Try to find out what exactly was wrong. Now, as a veteran, do you, when a player comes back, do you try to figure out what the injury is and test it as much as you can? Well, just in looking at it, I would think it would be some sort of a muscle pull, and you want a runner like heck. But I mean, you got to stay with your game plan, stay focused, you know, forget about what's happening on the other side with that person. Just worry about their game. 40 love. And one thing about Emily Lois with, you know, any spins that she's going to hit, Robert Lansdorp, her coach, Robert was my coach, believe me, Maria's seen thousands and thousands of slices and top spins and in a row, mixture, back and forth. I mean, Robert must have uh, hit millions of balls to Maria by now. Not just feeding out of that bucket. Nice, simple shots. He feeds him deep. He feeds him short, slice, topspin, everything. So Sharapova holds one all. And Ferreira and Robbie Ginepri have gone to a tie break. Now in the third set. And uh, Ginepri trying to make a statement to the tennis world here at this 2003 United States Open. Back over to the oh, grandstand. Where Tracy, a moment ago. What's, what's happening happen? here? WTA trainer Karen Davis working on Emily Lois. And to me, it looks like it's either an adductor in the inner thigh or front of the leg. We'll be right back on USA. All right, here we are at night. Three matches still going on. Over to the grandstand. Bill and Tracy. All right, Ted, thank you very much. Sharapova serving 3 4 30 all. <laughs> Emily Lois back after the injury. Sharapova got down in this game, but she's come back now 40 30. She's down love 30. What a terrific angle for Maria. That last shot, Lois doing everything she can to just junk ball Maria Sharapova. A lot of backhand slices, top spins off that forehand, then she'll throw in a ripper. Maria Sharapova rarely seen the same ball twice. These are Not fun nights her... at the Open, aren't they? With they dogs, are. All the activity, so many matches of significance. Jeez. Not letting Maria get into that good rhythm. Of course, Maria Sharapova got to the round of 16 at Wimbledon before she lost a tight match to Kuznetsova. After that, she played in Carson and beat Nadia Petrova in a very good match, but Petrova gave her all sorts of rhythm, those waist-high hard balls, and took Kim Kleisters to three sets. Well, the was giving that a good look. Good look right on the line. So a point for four all. Andre Agassi back on court. We'll be sending you back to Arthur Ashe Stadium in a bit. We'll look in on Robbie Ginepri at Louis Armstrong Stadium trying to close out Wayne Ferreira. Sharapova holds for all. And let's uh, go back to Ted Robinson, who's joined by Maria Sharapova battling to stay alive out on the grandstand. Here against Emily Lois. Sharapova serving at 4 5, down a set, and deuce. Third deuce and Sharapova with three aces already in this game. Oh, 
drops in. Boy, that is smart shot. The Wild just holding that ball to the last second. Shara committed, Sharapova committing the forward direction and sets up a match point. That's a nice way to erase it a match point. Well, She's been serving big. We talked about her poise. We saw some of it off the court in your interview with her, and she shows a lot on the court right there. We're here with a lot of unforced airs. Nasty slice stays down so low. The Wild just not letting Maria Sharapova get into that rhythm, get into that groove to hit those big groundies. Jennifer Capriati awaits the winner, the second match point. for Emily Lois and a disappointing showing for the 16-year-old Maria Sharapova. She had to be looking forward to the possibility of meeting Jennifer Capriati, but she didn't have enough tonight for Emily Lois. Straight set 6-3 and 6-4. Got to give credit to Lois, though, Bill. She played a very smart match. Injury timeout after she won that first set. Didn't seem to bother her in the second set but continued with her game plan, and it worked. So Sharapova is out of the 2003 U.S. Open, and uh, here's a look at what awaits Emily Lois, Jennifer Capriati in the third round. Another big hitter who I doesn't like the change of pace, but I think that she'll be just okay with those slices and those topspins. She's gonna get on that baseline, drive them in the corners. Down at the bottom, Frazier and Dementieva through today in three sets. Now we talked about how favorable this draw seemed to be for Jennifer Capriati and how she might be one of the chief beneficiaries of the fact that the Williams sisters are not here this year. Some autographs for Emily Lois.